Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Hello, Grade 6 Artist! Good morning! Art, you're ready for another fun-filled, artistic, creative, and colorful discussion today. I hope you are ready as I am to start learning. Brought to you by your Ma Arts live streaming teacher, Miss Annabelle P. Butin from Pasolo Elementary School here in Valenzuela Live, Mape Arts for Grade 6. Before we proceed to our discussion, I would like you to comment down your name, section, and school for your attendance. Even though you are in the comfort of your house, let us make the virtual classroom a healthy and productive environment and continue the learning at home by keeping these arts rules in mind. For letter A, avoid doing multitasking. Stay focused on the discussion for you to be able to hear every detail that I am going to Discuss. Letter R. React accordingly. Do not send any sticker or comment that is not related to our discussion. T. Take down important notes. This is also vital in learning. You can review and go back to your notes if there are things that you want to review. And last is letter S. Sit comfortably. When watching the live streaming, you must be seated in a comfortable place. It is just an hour for you to watch this live streaming. So please remain seated and concentrate on this lesson. I hope everyone is guided by the arts rules for us to maintain order during our FB live class. Did you know that before the widespread introduction of new technologies, most artists expressed their creative ideas through pen and paper. But at present design, with the dawn of new technologies, many now create symbols directly through digital processes. How? Artin Alamin with Mambuti. Artention! And these are the competencies that you will learn today. Apply concept on the steps. Procedures in cartoon making. Utilizes art skills in using new technologies in cartoon character making. Creates own cartoon character to entertain, express opinions, ideas, and so on. And for number four, explains ideas about the cartoon character. I believe that you had a great time creating a logo design last time. As we know that a logo is a design symbolizing one's organization. And with that, in creating a logo, you must consider these basic rules and principles of effective logo design. Form a word that you must consider in creating a great logo. Type your answer in the comment section below. Are right, you ready? Then, set, go! For number one, The answer is simple. A logo must be simple. It allows easy recognition and makes the logo to be useful and memorable. For number two, the answer is memorable. The design should be memorable and is achieved by having a simple yet appropriate logo. 
Number three. The answer is timeless. A logo must be timeless. It will stand the test of time. Number four. The answer is versatile. A logo must be versatile, able to work across a variety of mediums and applications. And for number five, the answer is appropriate. The design should be appropriate for its intended purpose. Great job, artist. Keep up the good work. If you don't get a perfect score, it's okay. Let's improve next time. I know that you can do it. Let us play another game. I will call this game a squad game. It's game time! I invited some of the squad to come over here to our FB Live streaming. Guess their name by typing your answer in the comment section below. Are you ready? Go! The answer is Bob's Bunny. For number two, The answer is Mickey Mouse for number three. The answer is Fred Flintstone for number four. And the answer is Snoopy for number five. The answer is SpongeBob. Did you get all the correct answers? What is your score? Comment it down. Great. Can you guess who is this cartoon character flashed on your screen? Yes, he is Superman. Cute Superman. Which is hand-drawn and which is digitally created? Did you get it right? Yes, you are correct. The picture on the left side is hand drawn wherein the art processes is in the format of pen and paper while in the picture on the right side is drawn digitally which uses new technologies such as computer software and drawing tablets in creating them what is a cartoon a cartoon is a form of visual communication that became popular with the invention of the modern newspaper and motion pictures in the 20th century. A cartoon character is a fictional character depicted in an animated film or a comic strip. Cartoon characters are as appealing to adults as well as the children. A cartoonist, also known as a comic strip creator, comic book artist, graphic novel artist or comic book illustrator is a visual artist who specializes in drawing cartoons these are the different types of cartoons number one an editorial cartoon is the one panel or standalone comics in which the main intent is to present an opinion an editorial cartoonist also known as political cartoonist is an artist who draws editorial cartoons that contain some level of 
political or social commentary. Their cartoons are used to convey a, and question an aspect of daily news or current affairs in a national or international content. Number two, Rip Cartoon is a series of little drawings arranged box by box. A comic strip is a sequence of drawings, often cartoon, arranged in an interrelated panels to display brief humor or form of narrative, often serialized with a text in a balloons and caption. Number three, caricatures. Caricatures are meant to make fun of the people they are drawn in unkind way, which exaggerates certain things about them. Romualdo Ramos and Filipino visual artist Antonio Tony Velasquez created the cartoon character named Kenkoy. Velasquez continued the strip for decades after Ramos' death in 1932. Kenkoy was seminal to Philippine comics and thus Velasquez is considered the founding father of the industry. The term Kenkoy has entered the Filipino language to mean a joker, jester, or a hilarious person. Did you know that the original Filipino cartoon began with the publication of local comic books known as comics? Digital art has become a medium that is now enabling artists to transform traditional art forms. But did you know that prior to the new technologies, Comics is one of the best sources of entertainment for our parents or grandparents. In fact, in order for them to read a comics, they will rent it or buy it on a sidewalk. Until now, there are still cartoons who preserve this way of entertainment even in our present times. Like an example on the screen, like the series of manga. Grade 6, what is the title of this movie that has cartoon characters sadness, joy, fear, disgust, and anger? Yes, it's Inside Out. During the late 1920s, Rodel Carmen who served as the co-director of the animated film Inside Out, also landed a job as an animator in Warmer Brothers and became a storyboard artist for Batman. How do they come up with these kinds of cartoon characters? Well, we are here to find it out. Artin Alamin with Mom Butin. Like them, cartoonists, you can draw your own masterpiece. Creating cartoon characters is fun to be successful, though you first need to have a good understanding of the basics of developing them, like physical features, facial character, facial expression, hands, and feet. Now that you have studied the details, it's time to put the pieces together into a complete figure. This will be easier for you to do if you do the following steps. Let us try morphing these figures into cartoon characters. And since we are in the pandemic, what do you think is the most used? Thing all over the world. It helps us to protect from COVID-19. Can you guess what it is? Correct. It's so let's draw a cartoon character that is face mask inspired. These are the steps in cartoon character. Think of a specific cartoon character you want to draw. 
Number two, start making a simple sketch beginning with the head and its picture. Number three, trace the important details of your cartoon character. And then number four, color your artwork. This is my own video cartoon character. I will call it mask. Mask is reminding us to wear face masks to keep us safe and less the spread of the virus. Art Timothy time! I think you are ready now for an exciting activity. Are you ready? Then, this is the instruction. Choose the letter of the correct Answer. Type your answer below. Number one, identify the correct order of the steps in making a cartoon character. The answer is C. For number two, this term has entered the Filipino language to mean a joker, jester, or a hilarious person. The answer is letter A. For number 3. The original Filipino cartoons began with the publication of local comic books. The answer is letter C, comic. For number four, to be useful in cartoon character making, you must consider this step or tips. Except for one. The answer is letter C. The last, it is a form of visual communication that became popular with the invention of the modern newspaper and motion pictures in the 20th century. is cartoon. Score reveal. Did you get the correct answers? What is your score grade 6? Type it in the comment section. Good job! What are the changes you have observed from the picture? In creating a cartoon character, a cartoonist follows steps or procedures in order for him to make a good cartoon character. Either hand-drawn or digitally made, both still follow the process. Can you type your favorite cartoon character, grade 6? Nice. Mine is a Japanese cartoon character named Mojako. Artist, let us answer the assessment portion of your module. Get it now and together let us read it and answer it. Four, the direction is we arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct answer. Number one, it is a form of visual communication that became popular with the invention of the modern newspaper and motion pictures in the 20th century. The answer is cartoon. For number two, these are people who use a variety of effects, fun and amusing, 
sharp and beating, or subtle and slippery for various genre or types of cartoons. is or are cartoonists. For number three, a series of little drawings arranged box by box wherein some or all of which may contain dialogue. Correct. The answer is trip cartoon. For number four, it is a form or it is often drawn in an unkind way, which exaggerates certain things about the famous people such as politicians or movie stars. Correct, the answer is caricature. For number five, it is a one panel or standalone comics in which the main intent is to present an opinion. The answer is editorial part two. What is your score, artist? Comment it down. For your art assignment, or for your home activity, you will make a design of your own original cartoon character. In the absence of a computer or software, use bond paper, pen, and coloring materials to make your cartoon. Consider this art rubric. Take a screenshot. I hope that you've learned something new today, artist. Again, this is your Mars Live Streaming Teacher, Ms. Annabelle P. Ludin, leaving you with a saying, Art is cool, art is fun, as long as you do your art with a heart. You are smart. See you next time, artists. Keep safe. God bless. Bye-bye. Good morning, grade 6 learners. Let's go and have some fun while learning. By the way, I am Mr. Ariel C. Cubilia from P.R. San Diego Elementary School, your teacher for today in Physical Education 6. Just a simple reminder before we start with our lesson, don't forget to click the like or heart react button and write your name and school on the comment section. To start with our lesson, let me give you the objectives for today. First, Execute the different skills involved in the game. Second, display joy of effort, respect for others, and fair play during participation in physical activities. Do you miss to play outdoor games in this time of pandemic? Very good. What are those games that you miss to play? Basketball, baseball, shato, and tama ang tao. Amazing! Our lesson for today is all about the nature and background of the games. But before we begin with our lesson, let us first answer this activity. Are you ready now, learners? Now, what you need to do is arrange the jumbled letters to form a word. Use the pictures provided to answer this activity. You may join me by typing your answers on the comment section. Let us have number one. Here is the clue for number one. Correct! The answer is bowling. Let us have number two. Here is the clue for number two.
Correct. The answer is dart. Let us have number three. Here is the clue for number three. Correct. The answer is basagang palayo. Now, let us have number four. Here is the clue for number four. Correct. The answer is tama ang tao. Now, let us have number five. Here is the clue for number five. Correct. The answer is chato. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good. Just to give you an idea, our first activity is connected to our lesson for today. And some of those games are played in our country, which are called Larong Pinoy. Now, to start with our lesson, let me ask you a question. What is a game? Very good. Game is a form of play or sports, especially a competitive one, played according to rules and decided by skills. Games are also classified into different kinds, namely ball games, board games, rocket games, target games, and striking or fielding games. Are you familiar with target games? Very good. Target games are activities in which players send an object towards a target while avoiding any obstacles. By playing these games, participants will learn the key skills and strategies of the game. Here are the examples of target games. We have Tama Ang Tao. Archery, golf, and dart. How about striking or fielding games? Are you familiar with this? Very good. Striking or fielding games are activities in which players score points by striking an object and running to a designated playing areas or prevent opponents from scoring by retrieving the object and returning it to stop the play. Here are the examples of striking or fielding games. We have Tumbang Preso, Basagang Palayo, Sarangang Taga, Tatsi, and Shato. Now, let me discuss them one by one. Number one, we have Tumbang Preso. It's a unique traditional game in the Philippines. A favorite among Filipino children. The name of this sport is derived from the Filipino words Tumba, which means to fall, and Preso, which means prisoner, translating to fallen prisoner. This game is played in backyards, streets, and open areas. Here's how to play Tumbang Preso. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, arm strength, speed, agility, and Balance. How do we show respect for others during the game? Very good. We show respect by accepting the ideas of our teammates. Number two, we have Basagang Palayo. 
a traditional game called Hampas Palayo or Hit the Pot was very popular in the Philippines. The rules of the game are so simple. You just have to hit the clay pot. The player should be blindfolded using a long bamboo or lumber is used to hit it. Here's how to play Basagang Palayo. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, arm strength, and balance. How do we show fair play during the game? Very good. We show fair play by following the rules of the game. Number three, we have harangang taga or patintero. It's played outdoors. The players are divided into two teams of equal number, namely the runners and the taggers. The objectives of the runner is to get through all the lines back and forth without being tagged. Here's how to play harangang taga or patintero. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, speed, agility, and balance. When do you say that you are enjoying the game? Correct. You are enjoying when you feel happy during the game. Number four, we have Touchball game or Tamaang Tao o Batuhang Tao was originally played in Africa over 200 years ago. The original version of it is more painful because instead of rubber balls, they used rocks or putrefied matter. The version is played by African tribes to train them fight. It is a game in which players on two teams try to throw balls on each other while avoiding being hit by the ball. A speed game where kids and adults play at any time of the day. Here's how to play dodgeball game or tamaang tao o batuhang tao. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have arm strength, speed, agility, and balance. Number five, we have the Tsing game. It's a traditional game played by children or even adults. The game is an imitation of a form of ceremonial combat staged by men before each harvest of rice crops. It is regarded as a ritual by the older people of Bontok Lipanto area. They believe that the more blood shed in the riverbed, the more abundant the next harvest of rice and yams or kamote. Here's how to play the thing. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, arm strength, and balance. Number six, we have Chato or Pikiao. This game is usually played by two or more players. One flat stick, usually three inches, and one short flat piece of wood. Player 1 is the heater, and player 2 is the catcher. Here's how to play Chato or Pikiao.
What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, arm strength, and balance. Number seven, we have dart. It's a sport in which two or more players throw small missiles. Also known as darts. At a circular known as dartboard. Here's how to play dart. What are the skills developed in this game? Very good. We have coordination, arm strength, and balance. Please remember, game is a form of play or sports, especially a competitive one, played according to rules and decided by skills. Games are also classified into different kinds, namely, ball games, board games, rocket games, target games, and striking or fielding games. In playing games, we should take the following into consideration. The values, the skills, rules, precautionary measures, and components of the game. Learners, do you have any questions? Did you understand the lesson? If your answer is yes, very good. Now, let us answer this activity. What you need to do is to read and understand the statement and choose the letter of the correct answer. You may join me by typing your answer on the comment section. Are you ready now, learners? Very good. Now, let us have number one. Which of the following skills can be learned in playing Basagang Palayo? Is it A, arm strength, B, speed, C, agility, and D, flexibility? Correct! The answer is letter A, arm strength. Now, let us have number two. Which of the following is not one of the effects of good sportsmanship? Is it A, it builds teamwork? B, it teaches respect? C, it builds kindness? And D, it builds bad behavior? Correct! The answer is letter D. It builds bad behavior. Now, let us proceed with number three. It is a value in playing target games wherein members of the team must cooperate with co-players. Is it A. Confidence B. Respect C. Teamwork and D. Discipline Correct! The answer is letter C, teamwork. Now, let us have number four. It is the ability to combine bodily movement to hit the target level. Is it A, flexibility, B, balance, C, coordination, and D, agility? Correct! The answer is letter C, coordination. Now, let us have number 5. Which of the following is not one of the skills developed in playing dart? Is it A, coordination, B, arm strength, C, balance, and letter D, speed? The correct answer is letter D, speed. 
Did you get all the correct answers? If your answer is yes, good job. Now, for your assignment, list down five activities or exercises that you do inside your house. Identify the skills needed, develop, and describe the skills involved. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from our discussion. See you next time.